I'm Tom Sperry from Fuel Cell Systems and I'm going to show you how we install a fuel cell on the sailing boat. So we've taken the fuel cell out of the main box. Along with that there are two cardboard boxes containing all the items you will need to install the fuel cell. Everything you need is there. To install the fuel cell you require access to the battery, the fuel cell itself, fuel and three other items. One is the battery connector. This time we've got the plug already installed on the end of the cables. So that's easily installed in the fuel cell. With the connector up we simply plug it into there like that. The second item is the fuel. The fuel is, in this case, in a 10 litre container. It's a spool-proof container, so we can take the cap off, turn it on its side, and the methanol won't leak out. To connect it to the fuel cell, the probe opens the valve, simply screw it on, like that, and that's the job done. So having installed the power and the fuel, the next thing is to communicate with the fuel cell. We need to know what's happening, whether it's on or off, whether it's producing power and what the battery voltage is. As standard we can do it with this Bluetooth adapter. This simply plugs in. So in there, push it home, test it, and we now have communication with the fuel cell. We need to load our app onto the smartphone or we can use the display. This is an optional extra and this fits into the bulkhead in the nav station or wherever you like and provides data for the system. Next, we have the vapor tube. Simply pull the cover off the spigot push the silicon tube onto the spigot firmly and this lets water vapour out of the fuel cell. And finally we have the off heat hose. This is a metal expandable hose which can go up to a metre in length. In fact in this instance we don't need it as a metre, we're going to use a very short length and this simply pushes onto the off-heat duct of the fuel cell. So in summary, we have fuel connected, we have the vapour output line, this is simply water vapour, which is harmless. We have the connections to the battery, we have the communications Bluetooth connector, and we have the off-heat duct. And that's it.